Well, good evening, good afternoon, or good morning from Sherwood Forest. Oh, wow. Uh, Robin Hood SA. SA. I decided to make it shorter. Instead of Robin Hood shaving artisans, let's make it Robin Hood uh, SA. Uh, let's make it Robin Hood. Whatever. Okay. Uh, before I begin, <laughs> I'm going to have a drink and show you what I did last time with my trusty uh, shavette right there and I this is healing here and this is kind of healing over here uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to shave try to shave just this area in here with the shavette and then later on what I'm going to move up to I'm going to move up to my uh, Merker 37C slant razor, which I really like. Now, the blade I'm going to use, I already have it, I cut it in half. You bend it and it snaps. And my Parker, this is a Parker. Uh, I'm using the Astra Green. Uh, I did not like the other ones that came with it. I think they were the, sh the sharp ones, but it might have been me or it might have been a razor blade, but I, I know what these feel like, so I'm going to stick with these. And for the final shave, I'm going to use the Gillette Nancet, and I believe you like twisting my arm. <laughs> okay, that's a Nancet. That's, uh, I believe, the second time I've used it. The soap I'm going to use, uh, first let's talk about the pre-shave. Definitely I'm going to use the uh, Parasso pre-shave only because I'm using the uh, Shavette. And then my daughter brought this back from Spain when she was over there on a trip for a week or so. A Savon Barbe shaving soap. You can see that. Uh, we'll hold that up there. It's a hard shaving soap, and what I did is I had it. I took it out of the container, and I put it in here. And what I'll, when I get done making lather, I'll take it out of here, let it dry for maybe up to 12 hours, and put it back in the container. But I like to have it dry. The brush I'm going to use is a Omega bore brush. I like bore brush, especially if I'm if I'm going to use a hard soap. I've had that soaking in my most favorite uh, stainless steel uh, jars, not jars, or tins, or uh, I don't know, containers from Kirkland, or which is, here we call it uh, Costco. This, uh, this one I just bought the other day, I got, it's supposed to be insulated, it's a little bit larger, and yeah, it's fine, I'll put a link down below. All right, let's begin, I want to start washing my face, we're going to wash it first with the, uh, my usual, which is the brute uh, soap. So, shall we begin? I need a drink first because I'm really concerned about that straight razor. Straight razor. This might help me relax a little bit. And I'll tell you some of the things I screwed up last time when I uh, shaved and cut my almost cut my throat off. Okay. I don't recommend you uh, drink when you shave. Don't do this at home. I hope that all of you have had a nice day. Oh, right. Okay. Now that I got soap everywhere, I'm going to take some uh, Parazzo, para, Pro Razzo pre shave uh, cream, I don't know, crema. Looks like that. You like how it just, like just like that, okay. Let's put this on here. I just, uh, I could have just left this uh, Chevette alone, the straight razor, but I don't know, I just, I had to, I got a, I'm kind of persistent. And I just got to be able to do it. Because I'm scared to death of it. And I think I told you the other day, I'm scared to death of heights and ladders. But yes, I uh, made a Benson gyrocopter, which is all open cockpit. And I used to wind up flying air, show, flying air shows. But I didn't need an altimeter. I could tell you exactly when I was at 500 feet. <laughs> so, uh, even though I knew that altitude is your best friend. Okay, we got that on. Let that set for a minute. 
I'll probably need a little uh, water in my brush, so I'm going to leave it like that. And let's see what we can do here. I think you can see it. This may not have been the way to do this, but you know what? This is the way I'm going to do it tonight, and you'll learn from your mistakes. Let's see what this does here. Oh, it's beginning to lather nicely. Oh, yeah, look at that. Kind of a, I don't know, a, kind of a fruity smell, but it's not very strong. It's not sandalwood. It's not a mint. I think uh, it was like 20 or $25. I don't know what it was. I don't know what the, the currency in Spain is. Maybe one of you all know. Okay, wow. It's really turned out nice. Look at that. Smell that. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's put this on. And uh, probably should say a prayer. Dear Lord, please don't let me cut my throat off with a straight razor. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> I need all the help I can get, guys. Come on. All right. Look at that. It really covers nice. Huh. We're going to see how slippery it is. The uh, pre-shave should help it a lot. And I really like this brush because it's one of my more favorite brushes. This is the, I think I told you, it was a Omega brush. Okay. They, I've had my uh, whiskers on now for uh, three days just to be able to heal up from my, my goof up here. All right. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, this is scary as crap. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use a two finger method like this, but I'm going to wet the blade first. This time I'm going to pull the skin because last time I did not. It's really hard for me to see. There we go. I'm going to lay it down flat against the skin. Oh, wow. Okay. And I just lay it flat. And I was watching a video yesterday I'm using this oh my god I didn't cut myself they said to make sure that you don't go over 30 degrees they were using a expensive straight razor this is uh, I don't know 25 bucks or something less than that again keep it flat last time I went too close to the ear and cut the ear Mm. All right, since I'm new at it, that's where I'm going to stop. And now we're going to switch hands. I'm going to try to do it on the other side. Let's see if I don't cut my fingers doing this. Oh boy. Okay. Now, the first time I did this, I had too much of an angle. I got to see how I want to do this. <laughs> okay. Okay, like this. My my razor gets in the way of my eyes. Okay, let me do the other hand. Let me. Oh my God, I'd never be a barber. I can tell you that's not going to work. Uh, all right, I did it the other day, and I don't remember how I did it. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to keep it flush with the face. Oh, pull up, pull the skin. I didn't do that the other day. I can feel it cutting in. Oh, this blade is much nicer than the other one. This is going to definitely take a little practice. I don't know if you can hear it. I can hear it. This you're going to have to pay a lot of attention to a lot more than with a safety razor in as much as you don't want to uh, let's see if you, you want you don't want it like this you want it almost like that against the skin you take too much of a bite all right I got this 
Now I have to remember to pull the skin and make it tight. I did not do that the other day. That was one of the reasons. And I don't know who I was watching. They said just start with this to begin with on the flat surface. I'm being brave. I'm going around the corners. I'm not that brave. Okay. I'll uh, quit while I'm ahead. Eh, my God, I didn't cut myself. Thank you. All right. Let's set that down. Cheers. I need this. I could say it's tea, but it's not. Okay, I, I think I need to put a razor in here first. What that is, it's apple brandy. Okay. Watch when I cut myself with this double-edged razor. Okay, this is screw on. This looks really aggressive, but this slant bar, or a slant, yeah, slant bar, slant razor by Merker, it's just... It's one of my favorite razors. I think I mentioned that before. We're going to continue on here. Actually, it's really uh, mild. And I think it depends on the razor blade. Okay, okay that's fair. almost look like I know what I'm doing. Before I, uh, one of, actually one of the first videos I watched on uh, using a Chevette was by Paul H. Paul is in Wales and lives with Mrs. H who has probably the most beautiful flower arrangements I've ever seen. And I want to really encourage all of you to uh, visit his uh, YouTube channel. He has shaves every uh, Sunday and Wednesday. And once you start, you're going to binge watching him. Even though I'm busy, all the time. I uh, always watch them. So please go over and uh, give him your support. Give him a thumbs up. Subscribe to his channel. It's really uh, well worth it. Alright, let me wash my face now. Again. And let's see how we do here with the soap. There's a lot of lather in there, really. All right. Well, I did prove with myself today that I could use the Chevette without cutting myself badly, or even cutting myself. Uh, I did have, and just in case it didn't work out, I did have my methylate and also I had my box of band-aids 
just in case. And my phone was here, sitting over in a clinic's box with 911 already plugged in for the ambulance service. So, I hope you're all having a good day. And, and uh, you know, I encourage each one of you to experiment with different products, different uh, razors, razor blades, uh, creams, soaps, bombs. There's so much to uh, play around with and have fun doing. It's like a hobby. Okay, I'm gonna let me do across the grain. Again, if for some reason I always pull this here. The other side, I don't do it. I think the hardest part of a, a Chevette straight razor is getting the razor out without cutting yourself. I gotta, it's got to be a way of doing it that's easy. If any of you know, post it, please. It's nice audible on this blade. I don't know if I mentioned to you, but I just ordered a uh, FATIP, F-A-T-I-P, Italian open comb razor, the pickleball. I know it's aggressive, but so is the straight razor. So, all right, let me last pass. So far, so good. Cheers. Oh, got to put the soap on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's it. No more brandy for me. All right. They have an air show coming up here in Waukegan, Illinois. I think it's uh, next weekend. I think. Uh, first weekend in September. It's the 26th, I think, now in August. And uh, I flew this air show. Golly, that's been in the early 90s. And uh, they, they put you up in a hotel. They feed you really good. It's like your last flight ever, your last meal. And uh, guess who my roommate was? The real Pappy Boynton. Really fortunate. Okay, we're going to go up now. He's no longer living. I think he died a few years ago. I remember seeing him in Oshkosh at the air show, the EAA, Experimental Aircraft Association. He was in one building signing his books. And then the Japanese officer pilot that shot him down over Japan was in another building. They still didn't talk to each other. I thought that was hilarious. Okay, here we go. Nice thing with a double-edged razor, you don't have to stretch your skin as much as you do with a straight razor. And just leave the uh, razor and the blade do the work. I'm just barely holding it. And uh, they say don't drink and drive. Don't drink and save. 
guess I'm a poor example. All right. The reason I go this way and that way is because sometimes the hair grows one way and at the same time it grows the other way. All right. Now I'm going to make one last real quick pass just to pick up the areas that I missed because wow this is nice soap. It's, it's, I'd say it's reasonably slippery. I didn't cut myself. It's, it's a pleasant soap to use. And it's worth a try. Probably look really good in your cabinet, but depend on what you're. I have to hide it when I get stuff now in the house because there's so much of it. I don't know where to put it anymore. What? You bought another soap? <laughs> oh me? Okay. All right. I don't know why I put it all over my face. That I just did now. I'm just going to go over a little bit that I feel, I can, you can feel the areas that you kind of missed. And this is one area I always miss, turning the razor around, you forgot to turn it around. Okay. Pretty good, huh? Okay. My short grip. I like I like short razors. All right. Good enough. Use some cold water or rinse this off. Man, I'm proud of myself. I didn't slice myself with either one of those razors. But you know, if I would have given up on that shavette straight razor, I would have never known I could have done it. So. And this is healing up pretty nice from the first time I tried to slice myself open. All right. Now I'm going to use uh, my favorite Humphreys. In in uh, every time I think of Humphreys, I think of Paul H. His last name is Humphrey. Paul Paul's favorite with witch hazel, which I really or not with uh, not with hazel, but come on, tea tree oil. Good for the skin. Wow, look at that. Don't I look like 20 years longer? Oh, man. All right. Let that dry. Oh, move my head around a little bit here. What I want to do is I want to put, uh, we're going to use some Perazzo aftershave lotion. Again, you can take a look at that. It's got the nice opening so you don't spill it all over. Oh, oh, is that noise? Oh, man. If I go out in my garden now, every mosquito is going to attack me. Okay. All right, and then uh, I'm going to use some Arco aftershave balm. I don't need much. Just to put the moisture back in. The skin. All right, that does it. Let me recap everything. All right, to begin with, what I used was my. I started out with my shavette, and in the shavette, I used this is the uh, Parker shavette. Uh, I used my Astra blades. I halved it and put half in there. I'll keep the other half for later. Then I, after I finished that, I used my Merker 37C with my. What did I have? Yeah, it was uh. Uh, Nancet, a Gillette Nancet uh, blade, which is very, very nice. The brush I used was the Omega brush. This is a bore brush. And then, of course, I used the soap, my soap container, and that soap was the Savon Barbet. Barbet? 
I don't know. I got it. My daughter brought it from Spain. I don't even know if you can buy it on the internet, but I'll look it up and uh, we'll let you know. The uh, aftershave I used was a Paraso aftershave. It's either a lotion or a cologne. And then I used uh, the Paraso uh, pre shave, which I wanted to use only because I was using the Shave app. And thank God I did not need the band aids. Or did I need the methylate in case I cut myself? But anyway, I had a great time. I hope you did too. And I hope you learned something a little about the shave up. I'll keep you posted on it as I progress around the edges here. But I'm real happy with the shave so far. So I want you to have a great evening and have a great week. Uh, this is Robin Hood from Sherwood Fir F First. Sherwood Forest. Sherwood First. Sherwood Forest. Forest. Okay. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>